and he opened my eyes and I began to see an incredible battle that so many had been in and the Lord spoke so clearly and it was so beautiful to me because it, it just revealed his nature in such an incredible way but he said to me Lana um, I want you to prophesy over the prophets here comes your second wind I feel such a strong presence on your ministry and to be really honest it's unusual I am, I am from the traditional Pentecostal perspective. When you feel the presence of God, it's generally someone jumping over the pews and uh, you know, screaming and yelling and there's the, those manifestations. But you talk about this new prophetic move and that God is gonna speak in new ways and you're really flowing in that. You're really operating that and you can feel it. And um, for the last month, I believe it was in the month of no November, the Lord had been speaking to you about the intense battle that this new company of prophets is facing right now. And I think, I think there's a lot of people watching that feel the prophetic compulsion to, if they're not operating in it, to receive from it. There's a real struggle right now. Can you talk to that a little bit? Yeah, I felt it for many, many months now. I've had a, a real um, weight on my heart for this company of prophets that uh, the Lord is raising up in this hour. Uh, really, they are the voices that are, um, are speaking the heart of God. They are walking in the fear of the Lord. They're carrying the, that heart of purity. And the Lord really placed them upon my heart. So I, I said to the Lord, God, what's happening? And he opened my eyes and I began to see an incredible battle that so many had been in and the Lord spoke so clearly and it was so beautiful to me because it, it just revealed his nature in such an incredible way but he said to me Lana um, I want you to prophesy over the prophets here comes your second wind and when he spoke those words second wind I wish I had enough language in in the English language to articulate what I felt but it was like the greatest empowerment of the Spirit of God upon the prophets in this era to proclaim the word of the Lord with purity, with boldness, without compromise, but to actually empower them and break off the weariness, to break off the battle and the struggle and the opposition that has been coming against them. Because the reason the battle is so strong is because of the thundering prophetic voice that the Lord uh, is releasing through them and will release through them in this new era. And I think because of the um, the shift and the reformation that uh, is beginning to take place, I believe, in the prophetic movement, the enemy is coming against many of the prophets to steal clarity, mm -hmm. to bring confusion, to cause you to doubt that which you have heard. And I, as I saw this second wind, I saw such a reviving. There was such a refreshing, a, a rejuvenating, and an empowerment to do that which you have not done before. It was a supernatural empowerment, not only to, if I can use the words, put the spring back in your step, hmm. but also to position you to build with God and to equip the, the saints in a way that you haven't done before. And so I think that this new strength that is, is coming upon the, uh, the prophets right now is is actually a new breath of life. It is that feeling of, I feel like I can breathe again. I feel like my strength is being renewed. Yeah. And as I lent into the Lord, I saw wisdom being released upon these ones that were seeking after the heart of God that is on a level I've never seen before. It was specific blueprint strategy mm. for this new era, for regional and national breakthrough that was um, specific specific prophetic solution and, and keys in order to give the church as well um, uh, wisdom on how to build with God, how to partner with Him in this new era. And one thing I want to say, because this is what um, has really struck me about a lot of what the Lord has spoken to me about this new era, is that these ones were, they had voices like thunder, the thundering voice of God. They were plumb line voices to bring alignment and to activate that which God had spoken. But the purity of their heart they, their heart had not bowed to another. Their, their absolute devotion was for Jesus himself and to, to minister to him first and foremost. You're about to receive your second wind, every single one of you watching right now, and I hope you just lift your hands and receive that because your warfare has just shifted. You are going from rout 
to rally and God is going to use you. What the enemy has been to you, God is about to make you to your enemy. And I believe there not only has to be a revival of these prophetic voices, but a revival of the people's trust in the prophetic voices. And you are really going a long way to restoring that trust. In this book, which is probably, I need to say this, it's probably one of the most unique books I've read this year. Um, and the link is in the description. Every single one of you needs to get a copy of it. I hear the Lord say New Era is like you're literally sitting down with Lana at her coffee table and the Lord is pouring his heart out through her and you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with her. And back in 2017, you had a dream that really put you on a path to write this book. Can you walk us through the birth of this book? Every time you say the title, it is a prophetic declaration. I hear the Lord say, New Era. Where did this come from? Yeah, I, uh, so I had a dream in 2017, and, um, and in the dream, all night long, the Lord spoke these words, um, Lana, it's not the end of a season, it's the end of an era. Mm. And as he, he spoke those words, it just resounded loudly over and over again for hours. And I'm not talking, um, you know, a, a slight whisper. I'm talking, if you've ever seen the Ten Commandments, Charlton Heston yes. type, that it was a booming voice in my dream. And often when the Lord speaks to me like that, I know that it is a decree um, and it's important. It is a decree that is is has a, a level of impact and magnitude that is is cr huge. And so as I was dreaming, I could hear him saying it. But also at the same time, I could hear the sound of bells ringing and I knew uh, in my dream that it was a sound of freedom. And so as I began to wake, I, I said to the Lord, "It's in, wow, it's the, not the end of a season, it's the end of an era. God, what are you saying? And as I was waking, I heard Isaiah 43, 19, behold, I'm doing a new thing. Uh, do you not yet perceive it? And so that was really the, the birthplace of a series of encounters with the Lord in my own journey of positioning myself and saying, okay, Lord, so what actually is this new era and what does it look like? Because if it's a new era, it means that um, the, the blueprints, the strategies, the way that you, you move is going to be different. Your nature remains the same, but God, I, I'm positioning myself to hear from you for what are the keys in how to position ourselves to partner with you, to co-labor and build with you in this new era. And that became um, the birthplace of this book. Or everything that's in those the chapters of my book are things that the Lord had spoken to me that were really important for us as the body of Christ to position ourselves to be propelled uh, into this new era and all that God was going to do. Well, Paul said, there is a great door open unto me, but there are many adversaries. And in this book, you said the Lord showed you an intense moment was coming of demonic intimidation to the body of Christ. And now here in the United States, we have certainly seen that come to pass in a way we couldn't have possibly imagined. Um, but yeah. what is it the Lord said to you about that and how we should respond? Yeah, um, the Lord really spoke to me about this intimidation and he, he kept saying to me, Lana, um, it's an illusion of intimidation and the enemy was coming against God's people in this hour and he was sounding loud and he was trying to push uh, God's people back into a corner and really steal their voice and steal that place of authority that has been given to them uh, to build with God and to extend the kingdom and to tear down the plans of the enemy. And the Lord began to really speak to me about positioning ourselves in this new era by taking the Lord uh, at his word to really be in that secret place with him and to be hearing his heart and waiting on the word of the Lord and moving forward in a place of radical faith. I remember at the start of this, uh, no, 2019, I asked the Lord, God, what are you saying for 2020? And he said to me, Lana, it's the year of bold faith. And I said, okay, Lord, and here we are in 2020. And I think right now, as we look at um, the enemy coming against so many of God's people, he's coming against the church with such intimidation and such fear. We have to remember uh, that it's, it's just an illusion. It is to stop us from taking our place and standing in that which God is calling us to stand in. And so I felt like the Lord was saying that you cry out for the, my eyes, that you would see as I see, that you would see past this illusion 
position of intimidation and that you would you would hear what I'm saying because actually right now is the time where I am I am raising up my church in boldness and to cause them to walk in in such a power and authority and to decree my word. And so as I've I've journeyed that word with the Lord, I've, I've really felt like we have to be intentional in coming against this intimidation by pushing back with what God is saying. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. Your engagement helps us get the word out. But I've got an exciting announcement for you. Coming in 2021, in November of 2021, I'm going to be taking a tour group to Israel and to Greece as we walk in the footsteps of Jesus and in the footsteps of the Apostle Paul. This is going to be a life-changing experience. And to get more information, all you have to do is go to Encounter Israel dot o-r-g this is more than a tour it's a mission and i believe it's going to change your life let's go together <laughs>